Playing with two Hello and welcome today. We're in uh, Paris next to Notre Dame. You can see it in the background. And today we're going to talk about some church vocabulary. So uh, you could call Notre Dame a church, but it's actually even bigger, so you could even call it a cathedral. Um, in the church, uh, you get a priest, that's the, the guy who does the service, that's what happens. Or you can also call it the mass. Um, if there's blood, if there's, sorry, bread and wine, which ch train changes into uh, the blood and uh, body of Christ, then that's called communion. And yeah, this there's the cross, of course, and there's lots of great uh, Christian vocabulary, really. Uh, obviously, we talk about Jesus Christ and uh, the big man, God, and so on in the Christian faith. Christianity is uh, what happens in the churches. And, of course, uh, there's two sides to it, uh, Catholic and uh, Protestant. Uh, the split in about uh, the 16th century, you know, with Martin Luther in two directions. Some of you will know a lot about that, some of you less so. And of course, now in modern day, there's lots and lots of different types of Christians. Um, some more related to Catholic, like in uh, there's the Church of England, for example, which is uh, somewhat based on Catholic tradition, but actually with Henry VIII split from the Catholic Church, famously. Anyway, so that's some basic church vocabulary, and it's been a pleasure talking to you today. This has been Charles Wood, English teacher, your language tutor online. Blessings.